Okay, hello. This is a video walkthrough for questions two and three on the exam prep worksheet on week four on inheritance. Okay, so we're going to be walking through dynamic method selection problem two first. It states modify the code below such that the max method of the DMS list works properly. Okay, assume all numbers inserted into the DMS list are positive and we only insert using insert friend. Okay, you may not change anything in the given code. Nice. Okay, so let's see. We want to make the max method of the DMS list work properly, so we should, first, we should first figure out what it's doing right now. Okay, so what this max method is doing is call, calling sentinel.next.max. Well, what is sentinel? We see here that sentinel is this instance of the int node class, right? It's probably some node in the linked list whose item is negative 1000. And as we know, sentinel modes, that item shouldn't matter, except we don't know what sentinel.next is, right? So sentinel.next can be whatever we decide to, it to be, right? And it looks like it should probably be another in, instance of the int node class, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna put this green section right here, okay? And then we will say this green section is what we need to figure out. We don't know what to do yet, but for now, for the time being, I'm gonna create this green node which will correspond to the instance that we're assigning for sentinel.next in the very beginning, okay? We don't know what it is, totally fine. So how can we try to figure out what goes here? Well, if we call sentinel.next.max and the list is empty, right? When we call sentinel.next.max, it'll call the max function of our node that we're adding, right? It'll call the max function of this green node, okay? so. If we call the max function of the green node right now, it'll call math.max of item and next.max, okay? So it seems kind of tricky. You're thinking, okay, so the new node we add here, it can't be an int node because the int node needs a new, a next, which is another int node, and then it'll like keep going forever, right? So what, we could do is we can make the node that we add in an instance of another class that extends the int node class. Okay, so what we can do is let's define a public class last int node. Okay, that extends the int node class. Okay, now what'll happen is if we call sentinel.next.max and our current state of the list is we have our sentinel that's like negative a thousand and it points to our green node. When we call sentinel.next.max, we call the max function of a last int node instance, okay? And then here what we can do is we can create a last int node instance, okay? So the beauty here is that if we create a last int node instance that overrides the max method from above, right? What we can do here is we can override the max method in the parent class to just return zero. What'll happen now, this is really, really cool, is instead of calling the max function on the int node class, when we call sentinel.next.max, we'll use dynamic method selection to call the max function of the last int node class, okay? I'm gonna say this again because this is basically the crux of this problem. We want sentinel.next.max to return zero if the list is empty, okay? Currently, sentinel.next is this value of the node we specify right here, right? In other words, it's this green node. And we want this to give us zero, but right now it's giving us this value. So to call a different max function, right? What we can do is create a last int node instance, right? Which extends the int node class. So instead of calling the max function of the int node class, it'll call the max function of the last int node class, right? here, 
and that'll return zero, okay? And I'll walk through a quick example to kind of see what'll happen if we insert more values, right? It seems like it works for now, but what happens if we insert more things into our linked list, okay? So we can only insert using insert front, and what insert front does, it basically squeezes int nodes between the current sentinel.next and the sentinel, okay? So if we insert the values one and then zero, we will get a list that looks like this, right? So what will happen is if we call sentinel.next.max with the current state of our linked list or our DMS list, what will happen is we will call the max function here, which will call the max function here, which will call the max function here and return zero, right? Then, since everything is positive, actually, yeah, we should make everything positive. That's my bad. Let's just make this two. What will happen is we'll compare one and zero, right? And that'll give us the value one. Then we'll compare two and one, and we'll figure out the max of this list is two. So you guys can kind of see that this last int node is acting like a base case in the recursion that stops this function call from going forever, OK? So I think it's pretty cool. The only thing that we're missing is that this class needs a constructor because it doesn't have the default, or because there isn't a default constructor, OK? So what we'll do is we can quickly create a constructor. And then for this constructor, just to make it simple, we can just call the parent constructor. And it doesn't really matter what we put for the values for item or next. So we can just put in zero and null. Nice, okay. So sorry if that was a bit fast. That is the solution for this problem. Okay, watch the next video for the solution to the next.